Hi all, this is Professor Ian. Welcome to uh, my Canvas walkthrough for this section of English 1A. So this is pretty much what the course is going to look like. I'm still in the midst of building it when I'm recording this video. So here's the front page. If you're unfamiliar with Canvas, there are two different menus. This is what we call the Global Navigation menu. This is, you can go to different course, your dashboard, uh, student supports, what else is there? Your inbox is somewhere. There it is. Um, and this is your course navigation menu. Uh, so this is my view of the course. Let me just change it to student view. This is more similar to what you're going to see. Now, this is the front page. It's got some general information. There's a video link to the syllabus, should you ever want it. Some information about contacting me, about the course, my role as your professor. Just some general information uh, right there on the front page so you can always know how to contact me. Um, now, here is the course navigation menu. There are a few options, a few things to click on. Uh, one good one is the, the student toolbar. This will take you to Chafee resources. You have to uh, you know, navigate away from our course a little bit, but it has more uh, general Chafee resources. Good thing to have uh, available. But uh, there's also a link to the OWL at Purdue, and we'll talk about that more during the semester. But the OWL at Purdue is the online writing lab at Purdue, and it's uh, the best writing resource center on the Internet, in my opinion. That's why I link it right on the front page. There's a link to your grades, assignments, announcements. So you can go back. Uh, I make announcements several times a week, so you can go back and look at old ones. But the main page that you'll be using is the modules page. This is the uh, beating heart of the course. So what you're going to see is week by week, there will be lists of activities, readings, uh, things to do for grades. So we start with week zero. This is just information about the course. You can move through this quickly, refer back to it throughout the semester. You know, you're watching the Canvas walkthrough right now. There's also the communication uh, plan, just, you know, information about how I communicate with you, how to communicate with me, what to do if you have a problem or concern. Uh, instructions for the discussions we do every week, how to use Perusal, one of the main apps that we'll be using this semester, a help forum. This is mainly for you to talk to each other and try to, you know, bounce ideas. At the end of each weekly module is a link to my Zoom office, right? I have office hours Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday from 1 to 3. That means I'm just sitting here waiting for you to drop in. Um, but you can also make arrangements for other times. I'm available a, a lot of the time. I have two young children, but... Uh, I work from home so I can make a lot of times different different times work. Just let me know. So this is week one. This is an example uh, of how this is set up. This is what we're doing this week. So there's an overview. This is where I'll post a short video where I explain what we're doing that week and then a list of the activities <laughs> and then just things to go through. Uh, there's a, an article to read on uh, uh, growth mindset and then a, a perusal discussion to take part in looking at the syllabus and then a one Flipgrid video to use. We'll be using Flipgrid a lot this semester too to help humanize the course and, and reflect in a little more casual way to interact with the material. And then week two, this is more uh, uh, typical of what a week will look like. Week one, we're just getting used to the course and everything. Week two, you see how I've split it into different sections. So there are readings, and this is the material you're reading for the week, uh, including concept quiz, which is four marks, but I put it in the readings part this uh, kind of dealing with the material. That's a video lecture that you'll watch, the concept quiz. It's not really a quiz. I just call it a concept quiz. It's more of a, a video lecture with a, a reflective question at the end. Um, you'll see. Uh, anyways, but okay, it starts with an overview and then there are readings and then activities for grades. So week two has two discussions. Again, those will be essays that we, or videos or, or whatnot that we discuss using perusal. A flip grade, reflecting on that. And then every week we'll have activities for essay one, two, three, four. There's four major essays in the course. So uh, in week two, you can see that the instructions are there. So you can always refer back to the instructions. And then there's a, an activity due for act, essay number one. So there's also a module for each of the essays with all the material. If you come down here to week three, you'll see a similar breakdown of material, an overview, readings, things to look through, activities. Uh, again, some this one has a quiz on sentence basics uh, as we start to think about our first essay. A couple essays to, uh, one's a video, but a couple texts to discuss via perusal, another flip grid, and then again, material for essay number one. 
Okay? So they're all locked. All of these weeks are locked uh, until the, the Sunday of the previous week, right? So week two opens up on uh, January, in this case, January 16. You might, you might look different if you're in a different, slightly different version of the course, but each week unlocks as we go through. Okay, so uh, that's how these are set up. And again, this is the main uh, resource we'll be using this semester via Canvas, the modules page. Okay, that's about it for now. If you have any questions or concerns, any te technical difficulties, please do let me know. And otherwise, um, welcome to the course. Thank you very much.